Hello friends, welcome to this channel. I am Sovi. In my previous lecture, I discussed about the SIP register in PISO mode, that is parallel input serial output mode. Now in this lecture, I am going to discuss about the bidirectional SIP register. So why its name as bidirectional SIP register? Because it has two direction. One is right SIP, right SIP mode, and another is left SIP mode. Okay. So one is right SIP. right shift and another is left shift okay it has two direction right shift and left shift that means whatever you give the input here that is dr it is shifted from uh, left to right and whatever you give the input here that is dl it is shifted from right to left that means that's why it is name as bidirectional shift register so in the circuit i have used here four flip flop four d flip flop uh, this is flip flop number 0 this is 1 2 and 3 okay and each flip flop is uh, each flip flop is connected to a clock which is in uh, negative edge trigger and which is give, uh, given in each flip flop simultaneously okay and this is your control line which is which name is m and this is connected via a combinational circuit to this each flip flop and this combinational circuit contains two and gate and a or gate each combinational circuit contains two and gate and a or gate so the output of this and gate this two and gate acting as a input of this or gate and the output of this or gate is connected to the flip flop okay similarly for this rest rest three uh, flip flop so let me start the working of in right shift mode okay so for the right shift mode i have to give the value of m is 1 okay so when this line is 1 this line is 1 then i have connected a not gate here from here so the input of this not gate is 1 that means the output of this not gate will be 0 so that means this point will be 0 this point will be 0 this point will be 0 and this point will be also 0 for the m equals to 1 and when m equals to 1 that means this point is 1 this point is 1 this point is 1 and this point is also 1 okay so now see what happen this this is 0 so this this is the input of this nand gate number 2 so that means any one input of the nand gate is 0 means the output of the nand and gate sorry and gate is zero so this and gate is going to disable that means the output of this nand gate is zero similarly for this and gate this and gate and this and gate so the output of this and gate will be zero it is zero and this is also zero okay now this is dr and this is one okay so what will be the output for this and gate the that is and gate number 1 the output of this and gate number 1 will be dr dr into 1 that means this is also dr okay and the output of this or gate will be what the output of this or gate will be dr plus 0 dr plus 0 that means dr and this this is connected to here the input of this flip flop so that means the input of this flip flop is dr so as this is d flip flop so output of this flip flop will be also dr so this dr will be fed fed to here as the input of this dr uh, d flip flop is dr so the output of this flip flop will be also dr and this is connected to input of this nand gate number 3 sorry and gate number 3 and the input of this and gate will be dr 
so the output of this and gate will be 1 into dr that means dr okay so what will be the output for this or gate which is 0 plus dr that is dr okay so this dr this this where is connected to input of this flip flop so that means the output of this flip flop will be dr so and this is fed to here so that means dr will be shifted to here okay and this is the input of this and gate the and gate number 5 so the output of this and gate number 5 will be also dr okay so and now the output of this or gate will be 0 plus dr that means dr now this dr is connected to here that means the input of this flip flop flip flop number 1 and the output of the flip flop number 1 will be also dr so this dr will be fed to here the input of this AND gate and the output of this AND gate will be dr because 1 into dr that means dr and output of this OR gate will be 0 plus dr that is dr and this dr is fed to here the input of this flip flop number 0 and the output of this flip flop will be dr which we are getting here so you can see this dr is shifted to left to right ok this is in right shift mode similarly for the left shift mode when we are going to use the left shift mode you have to give the value of m which is 0 so that means this point will be now 0 this point will be now 0 this point will be 0 and this point will be 0 and I have connected a not gate I have connected a not gate here ok so that means m is 0 means it will be 1 it is 1 it will be now 1 and this point will be 1 ok now I have to give input here that is dl so for this case this is 0 means this this AND gate will be disabled this AND gate the output of this AND gate will be 0 instead of this AND gate similarly for this case this AND gate is going to 0 and this AND gate is going to 0 the output of this AND gate will be going to 0 and for this AND gate also so now ok now this DL is input of this AND gate so DL into 1 that means the output of this AND gate is DL now the output of this AND gate is 0 that means DL plus 0 that means now the output of this OR gate will be DL which DL is which DL is connected to input of this flip flop number 0 and the flip flop number the output of this flip flop number 0 will be also the DL so this this is connected to here the AND gate number 6 so the, the now the output of the flip flop number 0 is DL so this is connected to here that means the input of this AND gate number 6 is also DL ok now this is 1 and this is this is 1 and this is DL so 1 into DL means it is DL output of this AND gate and it is 0 so DL plus 0 means it is now DL and which is connected to here so the output of this flip flop will be DL and which is connected to here the AND gate number 4 so the input of the AND gate number 4 is DL now so 1 into DL means it is DL so 0 plus DL means it is now DL which is connected to here so the output of this flip flop will be also DL so this flip flop the output of this flip flop will be DL and which is connected to the flip flop, uh, AND gate number 2 ok 
so the input of this and gate number 2 is now dl so this is 1 and this is dl that means the output of this and gate number 2 is now dl and the and this is 0 this is not dr this is 0 so 0 plus dl means the output of this or gate is now dl so the input of this flip flop number 3 is dl so the output of this flip flop num flip flop number 3 is now dl now you can see this dl is shifted from left to sorry right to left okay so that's why it is called left shift because it shifted from right to left so this is all for bidirectional shift register in the next lecture i will discuss about the universal shift register thank you